and the only way to do great work is to love what you do and today um, we have amidst us one of the most passionate outlet and bar management specialist to share his valuable insights to all of us thank you so much sir for joining us today to share your expertise and experiences which will guide and inspire us towards our goals especially in these moments of uncertainties and challenges thank you thank you aditi for your kind words good morning all uh, myself pramod faculty ihm goa and i'll be hosting today's workshop it is indeed my pleasure to have an extremely talented and true professional with us today that's mr sharath nayar i truly second the opinion of our welcome speaker ladies and gentlemen if you have any clarification or questions feel free to post it in chat box we would be taking the questions at the end of the session well i'm not taking much of your time over to mr sharath nayar mr sharath thank you so much pramod sir uh, a very okay. warm good morning to everyone and um, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity over here today and uh, especially rashmi ma'am pramod sir uh, the entire faculty of uh, ihm goa and uh, and you know to all the dear little students you know because waking up so early is again you know it's something you need to think like where you're investing your time and everything so uh, thank you so much for this beautiful opportunity today um, rather than just you know just taking a session and i think it's going to be more like an interface uh, interactive session and uh, you know where i would be sharing my journey and i would also be helping you out to find your own recipe you know that is your uh, that is in your life what you want to do and everything so um, thank you once again and i'll look forward for uh, hearing from you as well your queries your questions um, to learn something from you as well and um, so pramod sir i think we can begin now yes please sure. can start with your powerpoint presentation absolutely yeah <laughs> requesting the participants to uh, turn on the video if you don't mind especially the students yeah the screen is all screen is visible sir perfect so uh, guys like as you all know like today the topic that we have is your create your own joyful recipe with your journey it's like a blend of your balancing happiness and career path in bartending before we get into this i think it's very important to share my journey because uh, you know once upon a time or maybe 7 years before i was just you know on the other side um but it was in a different way though like you know we used to have guest lecture, uh, lectures and everything but now everything has become more on to online so um again you know just as as an uh, aspiring um student of ihm uh, i would say everyone has a first stepping stone right so that was for me ihm to get into ihm i know how difficult it was and all you lucky people just like you know uh, to get into that journey is you know don't we don't have any words to say now and you not going to understand this at the moment it's only once we step out of that institution is the time that we realize how important and uh, what kind of a lucky place we all were in right so yes i started again as a corporate leadership training with uh, hyth from there and i moved into uh, you know wanted to open the hotel like the first hyth in kerala because i belong from kerala so i said okay why not and that was one of the interview question even that high i had like you know high is everywhere but, but why is it not in kerala like you know you if if everything goes well you would be the person who would be opening one of the property in kerala so i got that opportunity from there again uh, we always like to experience and explore new things and you know i just wanted to explore uh, a different thing like you know something that was uh, giving me a little bit of fear of getting into stand alone restaurants and chain of that so i said okay why not to try that as well so got into a company called gourmet investments private limited where i was taking care as a uh, beverage uh, i was a beverage manager taking care of almost 27 outlets uh, in eight different cities yes i wanted to travel but i never expected that i would be traveling so much so that was a beautiful journey that i had and the best thing was 
um, you know, we all make some kind of connections in our college, uh, whether it be a super senior or whether it be, you know, any faculty who's going to help us to, you know, reach us somewhere or maybe just give their helping hands so that we can become something in our life. So, you know, when I came to IHN, uh, I always used to hear about a person's name. Um, you know, I, I consider him as a guru and his name is Varun Sudhakar. So, you know, from the day one, when you say, okay, there used to be a guy who used to do this flair and everything. I was so fascinated and wanted to meet him at least once, but couldn't meet him. But then luckily I got an opportunity from his side as well to join uh, with him um, in the same company. And that's, you know, where you realize that even your seniors help in your journey of whatever career that you make in your life. So from there, I was like, now I wanted to come back and open one more hotel or a bar, which is in Bengaluru, because I was having an aim that, you know, every city, at least you should own one bar, right? So pretty much you can go to different, different places and enjoy drinking. So in that way, I got an opportunity to open a beautiful bar, which is on level 21st called um, Kopitas. And uh, that again changed my life, uh, having the best of best of uh, ingredients to the cocktail list and to the amazing people that we could work for. And from there, the journey is still continuing and a lot of learning is still happening. And I believe, you know, moving forward also, it's going to be very helpful. But saying all those things, you know, we are we all are a small different story, right? Everyone is different. Uh, everyone would be having their own passion, own uh, interests, own hobbies, whatnot. So it's about how we're going to create something for ourselves. So we decided, you know, when me and Pramod sir was discussing, like we will need to have a session where it is going to be something more than just, you know, bartending or it should be more than just having any other um, sessions. It would be more about, you know, you should be having something to take back home. So we said, okay, why not to create your own joyful recipe with your journey? That means everyone can make their own little recipe. Recipe in the sense, you know, a success. Um, Again, success doesn't just come like that, right? A recipe is always about sweetness, sourness, a lot of spiciness, however you would like to make a cocktail. I'm just giving in that example because obviously I'm a cocktail person, right? And But in between all this process, the one thing that we have to always remember is we are not missing happiness. And um, happiness is the most important thing that we always and every time we have to consider that. So whatever you do in your life, make sure we all... Uh, be happy with what we do and we wa what we always wanted to do. So beginning the session, what we'll do is, there you go. So here today, I'm also going to share you a few opportunities, you know, just after doing hotel management, uh, what are the different opportunities that opens for you? It's not just about hotels. It's not just about standalones, but there are so many things. And especially now in India, um, we are being blessed by having, you know, uh, Asia top 50 best bars or we are getting into 100 best, uh, best bars in India and also restaurants. There are so many things coming up in India. I think this is the best time to shine in India um, for the people like we also think, you know, should I go outside? We would be having so many different queries in our head, right? Uh, I believe most of the people are maybe in, uh, you know, third year. And now what's next? And in this pandemic also, what are we going to do next? Uh, are we going to get any jobs? Are we going to do something else? But, you know, everywhere there is opportunity, everywhere. So I'm just going to share a few things like, you know, uh, you can see that stones, right? Sto uh, stones are, again, the building foundations that you are having. So every picture that you have in the slides or maybe this presentation has to do something with the, uh, you know, in your life as well. So uh, if you complete your hotel management, again, you get into any of the bar, become a bartender or a bar back, you know, become a bar server, maybe a f and assistant or whatnot. And uh, from there, uh, what eventually you want to become is probably as a director of food and beverage, maybe a general manager. But before getting into all those things, if you're very passionate about getting into the bar, you can become a bar manager in one of the hotel or restaurant, you can become a, bar, a brand ambassador. It's like, you know, you'd be hearing about different brands of alcohol, which has come in. And now there is so much a scope in India where, uh, you know, so many different brands are coming, like Stranger and Sunstream, which is being beautifully made in Goa. And um, I believe someone has just raised your hand. Uh, just allow me some time, you know, as soon as we go from this, I would be just taking down your questions and, you know, and any queries that we have. 
So uh, when we say about uh, brands, you know, Goa is a place, one of my favorite place because that's where my, I started my journey with Grand Hyatt Goa over there. Um, being visiting IHM Goa quite often in Purvain, so it was you know one stop destination for me as well. And um, so there are so many different different brands which has come up. Like you're greater than Jen, you got your Stranger and Sons, uh, you got your Paul John. Every distillery is now eyeing into Goa because of the ease of operation over there and the ease of doing the business. And also, one of the most important thing is the source of water, which is being very much required. And obviously, it's a party destination. Which other place that you wanna look for a good you know destination for creating your own brand and getting something for yourself. So you can become a brand ambassador where you represent a brand and then from there, uh, you know, you, you're you going to be the face of that brand and uh, one of the, those options. You can even become a bar consultant. Uh, I know one of the, again, the person that I was mentioning earlier, the person who helped me to, you know, uh, come into the industry and also showcase my talents is Varun Sudhakar. Uh, again, a ex alumni from IHM is now a bar consultant who is owning a company called Bar Bundle. Um, also, in a can is another some uh, some R and D that he has done for you know getting into the um, limelight and has just used this opportunity pandemic and so that you know he's creating something new in the market. So you can also follow him as well. And uh, you know the first thing that you'd be seeing is what IHM people have reached or where IHM people have reached. Um, and the, the next thing that you have is a beverage manager. Like if you're looking for a good MNC company or if you're looking for a specific, uh, you know, companies like a whole all together where they require one beverage person who would be taking care of the entire portfolio as another option that you have. And one thing that we all for, uh, forget is we can also become a celebrity bartender. You never know who, you know, what we can do and to whom we can serve or maybe as a sommelier. Mm -hmm by getting into a double set level one two three and whatnot so there are so many opportunities which we have in india at the moment and at the same time in this beverage industry which is just you know blooming on a daily basis with different opportunities which are coming in we have something we have uh, we also have something which usually we all forget you know we always think about work or we always uh, think about working for someone but where you never realize that you can also become a bar owner or maybe an entrepreneur. So that's another opportunity that you have, um, you know, once you come or once you come out of the college and if you want to do really something in your life too. Coming down, the next thing that I want to share with you is network is net worth. We all, um, you know, point in our life, we all think, you know, I have to update my CV, I have to do this, I have to create a beautiful resume. Uh, but eventually, in the world that you see for getting more um, jobs are the people who get better connections, who has, uh, you know, better profiles getting into the market, who are being more socializing to know what is happening next in the market. And, you know, where are the places that you can apply? Because whenever after completing your program as well, whatever you see on the uh, internet or maybe any job portal is basically only, you know, the last thing that you would be ever seen. But apart from that, whenever a job vacancy opens or maybe any other uh, any other opportunity opens, it's being first discussed with the people. Do you know anyone that, you know, who would be best fitted for this job? Or do you know anyone who's being, you know, uh, looking for a change like this? So for understanding all those things, the most important thing is just, you know, just like that car, you know, until the car is being drawn or maybe the, you know, dots are being ma matched together or being joined together, uh, you cannot see the, you know, beauty out of it. So uh, every connection that you make is a net worth. Network is like the, the money and the, you know, everything that you have in your life or the, you know, assets that you have in your life. So building connection, the first and the most important thing is, uh, or to know about this, uh, just connect with your seniors, connect with your super seniors. Um, this is something that we usually miss, I think, in, in the institution uh, and in the college that we often, you know, try to neglect, you know, how are they going to help me in my life? You know, just uh, once the college is over, that's all, you know, we would never be ever meeting. Even I had this same feeling, right? But still, I managed to make sure that, you know, we are in touch with the uh, faculty members. We are in touch with the um, you know, super seniors, we are in touch with the seniors so that if there is anything coming up uh, by portraying our interest, we know what is something that we want to do in our life and which uh, turn we want to take in our life. 
filling the gap is another thing that you had to understand well you know and uh, is another point that as well i have just like that car you know until unless you fill that gap you're not going to see anything new right similarly in the market we also have to see uh, you know where there is a gap how we can be a person who would be able to solve the problems you know how we would be able to person who would like to um, you know know what is the new things coming in the up in the market how do we uh, define you know what exactly i want in my life you know or what people are looking for so that could be one thing which could be slowly yeah, and uh, slowly and steadily we can generate within the college time itself and you know we should understand what is happening in the market probably uh, you know the first thing that we have is whenever i'm getting into a job a job interview um do what if i don't get this job and what if my colleagues get this job so what could that uh, what could be my reputation in the college and you know why am i not getting in a job it's okay always remember one more thing whenever you're looking for any jobs or maybe any those kind of a profile every company has a character just like you have one if you are able to fit into that character then you are in a perfect uh, perfect place and if you're not able to do so it's okay there would be some other company which should be looking for the character that you are in with so that is something that you need to look in the market um and understand where is your opportunity you know probably you can just place place yourself in such a place that you are being valued and that's most important thing third point that i have regarding the net worth is equal to net worth is be the be that uh, be to bring that change we all have to make an impact you know uh, in this society probably the one impact that i am trying to make in this um, journey or you know when some when someone asked me like when i was uh, sitting in your place again one of the guest lecture came and asked me so what is the change that you want to bring in the system or what is the change that you want to bring in the hotel industry i said the timing right we all say you know we have to work for 2 hours 14 hours uh, why you know when those things can also be completed within 9 hours uh, if we manage our time well why not we can also do so so i wanted to be a person i always wanted to think you know if i become a manager or if i become a person as a leader the first change that i want to bring is to make sure that um, you know i would like to be a person who's going to change that trend of working more in hotels you know rather than just cut down the time utilizing the time and just go back home because there is always a life after work and that's what i believe in so that was a change that i want to uh, bring into this uh, industry create your legacy whatever you do however you do make sure people remember you for what you do so that's one of the thing that you have to always remember how impactful is your work going to be it should not be just considered only on behalf of the money it should not be considered only on what are you getting it should always be remember what people are getting back like i was just reading um, yesterday a newspaper in which one of the uh, one of a couple uh, one of the couple have just posted like you know and that anniversary kind of thing of uh, for dr uh, apj abdul kalam sir so that means you know after this many years up to 6 to 7 years people are still remembering him right so that is the impact that he has made into this society and that's that is something like i don't know how many people must have read this book called the wings of fire it's a beautiful book if you ever get a chance see how a person uh, dream into certain things and then he achieves it even though he had multiple failure multiple failure in between this process but still his journey was fruitful towards the end so it's it's okay whatever you do do it for an impact which is not just for you but for the others and people will also remember you for that and then it's about design your own story as i said earlier if my you know if my friend is getting a job should i also try into the same job or you know what the most uh, one of the uh, common confusion that we all have when we are attending the interviews is what is my area of interest um my friend is actually getting into housekeeping or maybe production or maybe fnb service should i also look into that or should i be should i be looking into something else which i am interested for um and many of times what we do we don't understand this or we don't take it seriously at the time of doing our internship because for us internship is like just go work sometimes um you know and sometimes we had to bunk i'm not feeling well and then uh, you know so many so many blah 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 things that we would be coming up stating that okay what i want to do but if we take it seriously 
that is something that you want to understand what is something that makes you happy no when a internship is one of the best of the best of opportunity that we ever have just to understand is this something that is going to really sweet for me or is this something that my cup of tea that i am looking for um, uh, you know so is it going to make me happy even though uh you know i was a person who was very very much interested into kitchen when i joined hotel management just like any other person the first thing that i had in my mind was you know what sharath you want to become a chef um almost one and a half year i had that in my mind sharath you want to become a chef but eventually when you go for your internship is the time i realized i cannot that's not my cup of tea and that requires a lot of patience working in kitchen it's like you know it's a different league altogether and then i also want i found myself as a person who likes to interact with people who would like to you know do work at the same time would like to talk to a lot of people and that's how i realized like behind the bar is a place you know it's like a theater so you're or maybe as a stage where you're performing and there are audience you're telling them what to do uh, why did you make it how you did you make it and it's all about you know do, those little happiness that you get around so i said no i think this is what i like to do and i will stick on to this now let me just go back and also understand what my friends thought about what they would like to do so once you go back from the uh, you know hotels from wherever you are doing the internship you get to know okay so this person is doing this this person is doing this now if i had to prepare for my interviews what is something i would be having different within me that a uh, you know interview would be or a recruiter would be looking that okay this is the candidate that i was looking for what is that extra that you would be having so i said you know in order to design my own story when i am going back to my college um you know after second year you have a small little gap of 3 months or maybe 2 and a half months i don't know how is it now because everyone is i believe at home so i was like what i am going to do you know if i had to go back what are the two or three things that i need to focus on to understand um uh, okay this is why a recruiter would be looking out for me So I said, let me utilize my time of that, you know, small, dear little vacation that we have to do something which others have not done, right? So I said, uh, okay, let me find out the best institute for doing a bartending course, and that's how uh, I was in Mumbai at that time. And uh, so I said, okay, I have a college, uh, I have a small little school called Cocktails and Dreams. So let me just go and do my, you know, bartending course from there. so three months course a crash course again you get a certificate you learn more about bartending you learn the basics of bartending on how to make a lime juice how to make a sugar syrup you know why a certain recipes are being formed in certain ways and you know when i go back and when i go back to the college i would be having something else to present to the people as well and that worked so so that was something that i designed for my journey so that i would be standing a bit different than any other person most important thing what we do and the common mistake that we all do third year we don't want to invest much of time uh, you know and we have to make a resume we all have a similar resume cut copy paste right so initially i also used to do the same thing you know okay mera friend ne ye liya hai so let me also make it in a similar way and what we realize is the bigger the resume or the lengthier the resume people are going to get attracted so i was just discussing with one of the director of human resources who had taken now the director of human resources used to be my training manager um whom i met on a uh, you know facebook chat and that's how i got into an internship and then he took me to dubai so i was like you know so i spoke to him you know what is oh, what are the few things that we should be considering about a resume then the very clear cut answer that i get is you know use a professional's help to make a good cv because cv is one thing which is gonna it's like a menu card right you go to any of the restaurant uh, whatever you see in the menu card is what you order so if you find the menu so lengthy you don't even wish to read it similarly make it so crisp make it so nicely done make it so beautifully presented that only the highlight that you would be requiring is something that you should be looking at so i would advise for this like it's all about you know you do something and what you do as a marketing so marketing is very important and resume plays as a marketing thing which should be helping you out to give that first menu to the person who comes to take your interview everything about you in a very short lens which doesn't waste their time and at the same time is also good for you because you know you are you are having so many other things to talk about yourself so look into those thing as well moving on to the next thing 
one of my favorite thing is ikigai i don't know how many people must have read this book there is a book called ikigai which is all about uh, it's a japanese you know art of being happy and it's a you know very good the principle that japanese people also follow so similarly what you find over here there are four circles and out of which one is what you love what you can be paid for what you are good at and what the world needs you know as i said earlier the impact is something or the filling the gap is something that you're having over there what the world needs then you have what you love internship i'm just connecting the dots like all that we have come into the last two different slides uh what you love again it's like your um, you know do, what is a passion or that balance what is something going to make me happy and what is something that is going to you know make me cheerful on a daily basis what is something that is going to make me always joyful you know when you wake up on a daily basis you should be having something new to do right or you should have that feeling wow another day i'm going to make a change right and another day where i'm going to do something that i love to do and trust me for this it's been 7 years and you know i was just discussing with my friends also you know you not even one day you would feel that you're working because this is what you wanted to do it's okay what you're doing on a daily basis you're going mixing some mixing some drinks or making making some menus interacting with people now you know uh, being taking care of your colleagues making sure that everyone is happy uh, you know finding new learnings on a daily basis which would improvise your you know technical skills which would improvise your knowledge that is very important so find out that what you require what you love to do then you have what you are good at most of us what we try to neglect or try to miss is what are we good at so i used to have a small little journal uh, when i used to be in the college few things that i used to ask myself what i feel that i am good at and few things you know i used to give as a questionnaire to my friends think what do you think or uh, think what i am good at you know what sharath is good at so they used to give me certain things maybe sometimes that is uh, you know i never thought of and that is something so, so, you know few times it is like okay i ne never realize about it and you know you always need a mirror either it's your eye or maybe someone else to showcase who are you actually so that was something and another opportunity that i found you know no first yourself what you are good at ask people your your mentors or you know your friends your parents the best people to tell you what you are good at and what do they feel that you are good at and what you can do all then always find your passion uh and also also have a journey right whenever we go with a journey we need to have certain principles or maybe we need to have certain values and everything that we so have a mission in your life what we going to do have a profession that you are happy with vocation if everything combines together is your ikigai it should give you money but not just money it should give you happiness right so you need to understand those little things end of the day what you want to do um i mean seeing this trend you know when i interact with a lot of faculty members a lot of people also say you know what out of hotel management i saw the inter uh, i saw the internship and i'm not very happy with uh, the way hotels or restaurants are being taken uh, taken care of absolutely fine if you don't like it you don't like it you look for something which is going to make you happy um, a lot of people have interest now in retail outlets you know so people like if that's making you happy choose it one thing or the golden rule is you know okay <laughs> i used to uh, you know i used to hear this question a lot if you wanted to do this why you done hotel management everyone the first thing is like if tujhe yahi karna tha then hotel management kyu liya well because i know well uh, i still you know we have a group of people uh, with whom we are in still touch with who has done hotel management and is an amazing hair stylist now we are having you know few friends of us who is an amazing uh, entrepreneur and there are few friends who is an amazing photographer few of other people are amazing tattooist so it all depends upon you i believe this is one kind of a course which actually helps you to mold in all the angles you know bit of finance you know bit of commerce you know bit of uh, you know strategic management you know a bit of food production you know kuch nahi to be you know how to set your own home that is most important thing because and if you don't have anyone else at least you know something to cook right if you don't have anything you know there are multiple ways right at least once you go to a good bar or maybe any of the place you know what to recommend people it's a lifestyle 
right? So if you see in that angle, it's like one course which actually you're getting degree, and at the same time, it's not just a degree, but it's a life changing thing. I'm sure the change that you have got from day one of entering the college until now, there would be there would have been a lot of changes in in terms of um, you know grooming. Obviously, don't look at my grooming now. This this is something that is related to the bar, and it completely depends upon the property to property. And as I said, I want to bring that change. This is one of the change that I wanted to bring. Uh, I was also a person who was supposed to quit the industry just because I wanted. I was not allowed to grow my hairs. All right. So in between that, then I get to hear. You know what? We have come with a new brand. Uh, you know, a new a new brand presentation or a new brand theory where anyone and every can uh, anyone and every can become any way they want it. So I was like, oh wow! So can I grow my hairs? Yes, you can. I'm back. <laughs> so, so there are different things, right? So, I want, I wanted to be a person. Um, you know, I had this thing of growing my health because I just wanted to donate to some cancer patients, right? So, there are certain things which comes into your mind and you want to do it. And um, so, I said, why not, man? Like, you know, if I'm being able to grow my beards, if I want to keep it, so you know, I would like to keep on changing different experiments. You know, I want to experience my looks in different ways. So I would like to try it. And trust me, like most of the brands are allowing that too now. You know, you can be the way you want to be. And, uh, you know, just make sure that you're being neat, clean, and you're being, well, you know, there is a grooming in that as well, right? You need to take care of, of all those stuff very adequately. And the next thing that we have is find your purpose. In this is all about finding your own purpose. Now, finding your own purpose is something that, you have to help yourself, right? However, whoever, whatsoever will do, it's about you. What is that small little, a little purpose that you want to achieve in your life? And most importantly, why should you do it? Um, and first is what you want to do. And the next thing is, why should you do it? If you get these two answers, I think pretty much we get a direction on which way we have to take or which career path we have to take. Uh, whatsoever it may be, right? No? Then we also say, listen to your tingles. Tingles is a small little thing which comes from inside, right? You know what? Uh, Mohit, like, I want to do this. Aditi, I want to do this. You know, Pramut, sir, I would be like, you know, I want to do this. Small little things which uh, comes in, you know. Uh, it could be like, you know, being a musician or, you know, I want to do this. I want to be a sports person. Uh, I want to be a sommelier. I want to be a bartender. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to be a best baker. I want to be a best chef. I want to be a whatsoever. There are so many little things, right? So there are something or that feeling which comes inside you and tells you, buddy, Sharath, this is what you were supposed to do. Do it. Try it. It, it could be really scary, but there's, you know, if, if it scares you, I always believed in this principle. If it scares you, that means it's a sign of doing it so that you can just get away from that and at least start doing those things uh, because after that, there is no fear to you. It's done. It's done, dusted. So what's next? Then you get something new, you know, new things within you so that you would be like, okay, this is another milestone. Either I will, either I would fail or I would, you know, just go ahead of this. It's okay. New challenges is something which is going to mold you, right? Absolutely. No worries. So listen to that tingles, jot it down and make sure you make the best use of it in the best way possible. Another in important thing is find the value inside you. Uh, now, value inside you could be so many things. Either it could be hidden or maybe, uh, you know, we have to take some time to understand what exactly we want in our life, right? And what is that values against, you know, I'm a person who's not going to drink at all. I'm a person who's not going to cheat anyone. I'm not a person who's going to, you know, I will be always honest. Those are small little principles that you have that, you know, this is what my lines are and I'm not going to go ahead of this or maybe I'm not going to cross these lines. So keep some values for yourself so that you know where you want to reach and how and why you want to be different. So that is something gone also, you know, make you stand from the other crowd and, you know, always help you to be you. And being you is the most difficult things, you know. To be you, think of yourself. We, we always worry about the society, what society thinks about it, what other people think about it, and wh what our friends think about it. And then, like, what if, does it, what, what if it doesn't happen? What would, you know, others think about me? Forget about it. 
you know so those values is something going to make you really uh, a different set of person next is the most favorite uh, you know little tagline that i have is called learn to unlearn uh, this is one of the vp of hyat uh, once had told me uh, in this line and i still remember this most of the times like after passing out from the college we think that we know everything but in the market the scenario has changed right the industry is looking into something else uh, just to give an example like you know we but those are very basics but sometimes we had to unlearn it to learn new things for example we would be learning about different you know what i would say flambe service everything just to give an example in the college but if you actually see now in the hotels most of the hotels it's being not allowed right to use fire and we still in college mein to aise sikhaya tha but sometimes you also have to unlearn about certain things and learn something new which is happening in the market then we would be like college mein to aise hi sikhaya tha or maybe you know this is how it has to be placed this is how it has to be done but if you go for a different stand alone restaurant they would be having their own set of things every brand or maybe every restaurants or maybe every workplace that you go you have different things that they would be having to teach for that you need to first unlearn what you have learned and then learn new things what they are teaching you so for that your mind should be always be optimistic and you should be open minded to take any of those things and be also you know good enough with that as well you know uh, you should be a person who will be able to mold yourself or like a water that you can change uh, you know as per the need the next thing is energy transformation now energy transformation we all have you know it's being always said energy can neither be created nor be destroyed what happens is it just transforms from one uh, transforms from one form to another we all say are uh, there are certain things which i think i am not good at and there are certain things which i am good at both of the things negative and uh, positive you cannot remove it from your body or maybe from your mind only you can do is you can just be over the above over and above of the other thing for example if i had to take out my negative thoughts i need to be more positive right if you become more positive or for example if you want if you want to remove of your some bad habits then you need to have some good habits right so once only once you have that good habits over the bad habits is a time that your already energy trans, energy is being transformed so that is something that you need to really take care of um i had i was very bad at getting early up in the morning right so um during the lo- last lockdown we made sure that you know would be waking up early and eventually i became my habits became so nice that i started waking up uh, waking up at almost 4:45 in the morning just for doing some meditation used to use my time for different different things this is something that i always used to scared you know i was used to be worried about that i won't be able to get up early up in the morning because all my life since uh, so far i'm been doing evening shift and all those things in right so morning means is a time for me to sleep i used to sleep at 3:30 4 in the morning uh, still it happens sometimes but still i try my best to wake up early up in the morning last but not the least from my side is the basics has to be right and tight right and tight means it should be right and the the, the foundation has to be right and you, your intention has to be very tight so if you have those things in your mind then the moving forward the journey is always very good first for this thing is to understand find your tribe just like your vibe everyone has different vibes right so, music vibe you know you like to talk to a person who's if you are a footballer or maybe a soccer player you are interested to talk to a person who is very much interested into playing football right if you are a person who goes to gym you would like to make your tribe with the person who goes to the gym if you are a person obviously i was not falling in this category though if if you want to study more you would be always studying with the people that you want to be with so that you know you would always um, you know experience good marks and everything so everyone has a tribe a tribe and everyone has a vibe to fit in that tribe so find out that tribe that makes your vibe that is very important invest in yourself uh investing in yourself i think this is this is something as the picture says this gives it best rate, a rate of interest all right whatever you do however you do uh try to keep some time for yourself on a daily basis just to ask question to yourself on what you want to do how you want to do how is your journey going so far what are the things that you want to alter what are the things that you want to make sure you want to make a change of it and either learn um you know unlearn and plus 
do some courses for yourself either it could be some personality development either it could be learning about some technical knowledge either it could be learning a new interest that you always wanted to try you know keep on investing on yourself learn new things how it is possible understand the why what when and everything of uh, certain things and then obviously you know i used to do one thing when uh, you know uh, when i was in college uh, one of my chef chef uh, pai he used to tell me you know now we are going to a next uh, you know chapter of your life that is you going to earn for yourself and the first thing that you have to make sure is you know you invest in yourself whether you read or you don't read make sure every month you buy at least one book and trust me that trend is still going with me every month with my salary i'll make sure that at least i'm buying one book irrespective of i read or i don't read i'll make sure that once some day i will read it and you know you just go back to those books and start learning something so at the moment what i'm doing is you know um, this lockdown again helped me to understand what's next for me and what is the upcoming trend that i have so i said let's learn about nutrition and fitness though we all learn this in the college but still you know just a bit more detail about it just to make it as a amazing lifestyle on how you want to take it how you can make an impact with the people so i said i'm going to invest my time and maybe 2021 and getting a diploma in nutrition and fitness so that is something that i am interested in and that what impressed me at the moment next uh, point that we have is do not try to impress just try to express uh, a lot of time we try to do things that others want just to impress others that you know do this do that and if i do this the other people would be happy no 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 just try to express the way you are so that if they want to like if they want to like you they would like they would like you if not it's okay they are again not your vibe or try so it's okay just try to express the things that you have in your heart and then also the places that you want to do so and just don't try to do the things just for the sake of doing it but do it for the sake of an actual pact right and then however you come wherever you go whatever you do always make sure the climax should be wow climax is whenever you're sitting back home after retirement or maybe whenever you're sitting back uh, you know after completing all your studies after everything that you do maybe from leaving ihm you need to have stories to share it to others so make sure that is something that you built and that is what is going to take you as memory and that is going to bring that smile when you're old and that is something which is going to always keep you up or energetic stating that i just conclude this session and that i believe the chat box is open uh, pramod sir if you can just help me to read up the questions if it comes throughout and i believe i just wanted to make this session very crisp short um, and i was also given a time limit of 1 hour and i think i'm always al already there like you know 11 yeah, minutes yeah. and uh, if there is any questions uh, we'd be also sharing you a google link uh, which would help you all to connect with me and as i said the network net worth and everything so it's all about getting connected so if you have any queries in the future and if you have any queries now or if you want to get connected to me one um, is you can you know just get in touch with me in instagram my name or my handle in instagram is a traveling shaker traveling shaker again i'm a cocktail person wherever i go i like to you know bring a positive energy and that's how i shake it the traveling shaker sh shake the vibe and also a person who goes to different places and make something of his own and then uh, yeah so just like i said sharatna is concluding over here a part time creator full time narrator and that's how is a tagline that i use for myself <laughs> and then stay connected either first thing and the most important thing uh, for all the third year especially is to start uh, you know start with your linkedin profile very important have a beautiful cv short crisp informative um look for the job that suits you not what others think that you should be it's okay if you don't get something there would be something better for you all right or start giving jobs to other so that is something that you should be looking at and um, thank you i'm sure you all gonna miss I i'm actually missing the college like i wish if i was really over there and i can go at the moment um you know and uh, would be able to see everyone in personally but uh, nevertheless if there is any opportunity definitely would uh, you know would love to be there 
and uh, thank you so much pramod sir once again and rashmi ma'am and the entire faculties of ihm goa for giving me this opportunity and i just leave it up to you now thank you uh mr sharad uh, there's a one question from uh, punya uh personally in mumbai i haven't seen any female bartenders so is bartending a good career option for females in india that was asked by punya hi punya uh, very interesting question and uh, would love to share this that is one of the trending uh, you know career path which is being uh, you know everyone is looking at now trust me uh, it's very difficult to find a lady bartender a seasoned uh, professionally known lady bartender but yes there is a big scope and is an like yesterday itself i was being uh, you know i was taking care of a female bartender and uh, you know the amount of uh you know new things that i'm hearing from them it's like i want to do this i want to do that it's i'm so happy to hear those things it's like wow like you know that trend is coming up in india so punya if you're looking for this opportunity i would say please go ahead and uh, you know there are very few bartenders like you can follow few people as well there is feruzan who's the brand ambassador of um, you know stranger and sons there is amisharaf there is uh, so many so many people that we have like you can see someone called arti who is uh, taking care of as a bar manager for taj in bangalore right so there are so many so many people and what i would say is um, just to follow a few people what you can do is you can just go to google uh, you know search over there your uh, you know lady bartenders in india and you'll be seeing a small list which is being shared by cocktails and dreams uh, sorry no cocktails and dreams the cocktail story so they would be having the list of people the female bartenders and uh, what i would encourage you to do is you know it would take some time to understanding the basics and everything but yes there is a scope and th that is a very good opportunity thank you so much uh, next question is from shrikant uh, sir what would you be your advice to people who joined ihm a little late in their journey like in mid 20s how can i catch up with other and become the best chef that i can be mid 20s in the sense are you in first year second year which year are you in now second year if i'm not wrong shrikant yellow study can a message shrikant hi shrikant shrikant you can raise your hand so that you can ask the question directly shrikant hi shrikant i think sir we'll have to unmute him unmute him yes yeah got lot of participants so shrikant okay shrikant i have unmuted you thank you sir for the opportunity sir i am in second year right uh, like i have completed my second year and this uh, i have just recently given the final semester exam for second year so shrikant like uh, as you mentioned you you're never too late anywhere you know it, it all depends upon what you learn and uh, where do where do you get trained and how experience you get right so there is no see again we don't just get into the race of reaching somewhere so qu uh, quickly that you know you know my other peers are ahead of me and then i am stuck somewhere it's okay as i said design your own journey use your time and if you're not able to go uh, you know do something with them at the moment make sure you go outside start you know uh, either get trained somewhere look for the best restaurants that suits your vibe and what you want to do in your uh, uh, you know career as a chef if you want to be a, a bakery chef if you want to be a you know indian chef western chef chinese chef completely depends upon you just um, take the experience in all those fields which would probably help you to understand the uh, skill much better i hope i have answered your question in that way yes sir thank you very much sir more than welcome sir. okay another question from uh, mayank is what's better doing bartending from india or abroad uh we have so many colleges in india why you want to spend so much money abroad uh, right so, uh, like as i said um, you can look you can follow this person called mr varun sudhakar who is actually the founder for the bar bundle right so he uh, he is designing in fact something extraordinary in this country called the beverage program and if you go through his stories go through the link and everything you would be able to find it so when you're having a personality like that and so many other personalities 
uh, like you know we have cocktails and dreams we have uh, madush uh, we have madushala we have bar bundle we have um, you know european academy european bartending academy and everything in india why want to spend so much of money outside rather than that i would say invest in some other thing which will probably give you uh, you know much more returns however if you would like to be abroad take that exposure nothing like it and if you have money please go ahead thank you uh there are a lot of many questions coming in uh, mohit is asking uh, is juggling a most important skill for becoming a bartender uh mohit the first thing is juggling is something which is being done in circus usually and what we do in uh, you know bartending is called flaring right and flaring if you see in some hotels it's not allowed all right fire flaring especially it is being not allowed but it's like a another skill set that you having we have uh, another thing something you know we have uh we have different competitions on flaring right and there is something called ifba which actually supports a lot of flaring and everything together and um, so it it is a good option but depends upon what do you want to be a flare bartender if you want to be a bartender it's just an add on skill that you would be having to showcase that you know your you know, what you showcase is something in a very good way thank you now uh, dhruv is asking like what's uh, sir sharath's favorite cocktail and why uh, well my favorite cocktails keeps on changing as per my mood right so if it is a good uh, you know if it, if i am in goa uh, i usually like to go for nice you know mojitos because of the humidity over there uh, or maybe you know try different different things that i have you know if, if i come to goa obviously uh, to be honest now if i come to goa i would never be in the bars i would rather be obviously there are few bars like i believe you are all are in goa at the moment there is some few good bars that you must visit it's called bar tisoro uh, then you have Uh, joseph bar is already there which is a small little bar but if you get an opportunity to go to tamil table if you get to go to tisoro which is towards the south of goa uh, amazing cocktails amazing people like it's being led by uh, pankaj balchandran and arijit bos um, then you have a lot of amazing people like devi singh who's there in goa um, and you know so many different brands also coming up in goa uh, and i believe you should take that opportunity people are traveling all over the goa just to be in this bars all right so my favorite cocktail keeps on changing however uh, at the moment what i wish to drink at this moment is a good old fashion yeah thank you uh, now arjun's question uh, so which bartending school is best any suggestions as i said it completely depends uh, where you want to do like if you want to relocate uh, depends upon which city you are in um you can either choose uh, you know bar bundles the beverage program you can choose uh, cocktails and dreams you can choose european schools of bartending um, i would say it's much more better if you get into this understand their study material understand what do they have to offer because it should not be just you know just going over there learning for two three months and then coming back you need to have the connection so that they would also help you either for the placements or maybe a good knowledge that is very and make sure that they are setting up your basics right i can personally tell you which are the good colleges that i would recommend personally uh, so you can you know as i said there is a form after this which you can sir if you could please share that form on this uh, chat box so that you know people can use yeah. that and um, so yeah that would help me to get in stay connected with you as well so i use lime uh, sorry it's lemon so lemon and lime so we always have this confusion right what is lime what is lemon but that was one of the question that i had in one of my interviews what is the difference between lime and lemon both are two different things and also what we have nimbu is different thing. so we use italian lemon and uh, which is slightly uh, you know slightly bigger and so i have seed swar and have a small little taste of bitterness of bitter leaf and then uh, it's being shaken beautifully and then being served so my favorite cocktail or my signature cocktail is ibiza so we think of so many things while making a recipe and we think so many stories to cover around it so that when we sit on the table we have something to discuss also if you see there is a as i said the bitter leaf is usually plays and garnish now if i remove that garnish i had to throw right so we don't throw that garnish we have a small little berry syrup which we use give the person as an experience especially an international traveler who comes to india so uh, you know we not there is a small little ritual that we have with this bitter leaf you have to take that bitter leaf we put that uh, homemade berry syrup into that roll it and eat it 
so that becomes as a good appetizer uh, and i'm not appetizer like a uh, good after drink or you know before a good digestive and at the same time your garnish is not getting wasted it being more sustainable because everywhere there is money attached to a drink right so all the aspect of a drink is being used i hope i answered your question but creating a menu is not just one day exercise it requires so many uh, you know so much of experience and so much of understanding regarding your clientele of where you're serving it as well and what price range you want to serve and in which place you're serving it i hope i answered your question in that thank you uh, next last question like how can one become a beverage journalist by harshita joshi harshita very interesting question um, you know a lot of people are actually getting into that uh, line as well and uh, it's called a beverage enthusiastic or maybe a beverage content writer uh, for that what you need to do is start making contents right so first thing is like you know uh, to make sure that i'm not a experienced person in this on how to reach over there because i don't have my hands in that but what i've seen people what you can you can follow one person in that is called miss priyanka bluff all right uh, she is again an indian but who is also a chairperson for asia top 50 best restaurants she has uh, something called uh, she has a web page called the dramatic right so she is a content creator at the same time she is a, she writes about beverages so you can go through her a uh, post and everything to have a better understanding in instagram you can search for the Pri- uh, priyanka bla b l a h so she would be the right person who would be able to help you or maybe a cocktail uh, the cocktail journey is another person that you can find on instagram which is being owned by vidhi puri yeah all right uh, looking at the questions i could sense the infectious energy has spread among the participants mr sharad um there are quite a lot of questions but i don't think like we'll be able to finish the webinar like by this evening if keep on replying to it um um i must confess that it was an enriching experience to host this workshop with you mr sharath um thank you so much now it's time to extend word of thanks um inviting uh, miss akshada salvi to give word of thanks good morning everyone it's my privilege to be asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion today i am akshita sarvi i would like to thank our guest lecturer mr sarath nayar for visiting and enlightening us with his knowledge today's webinar was full of new learnings it gave us full it gave us deep insight and also revealed some interesting facts from within the industry where mr sarath nayar spoke about his experience and entrepreneurship was really informative and inspiring I'm pretty sure the precious knowledge that Mr. Nayar gave us will definitely help us in our studies and future, and will motivate everyone in some manner. Once again, I would like to thank Mr. Sarath Nayar for taking out time from his busy schedule and enlightening us. Thank you so much, sir. I would also like to thank our principal, Ma'am Donna De Souza, all the head of department, IT department for the tra- IT department for the technical support. I would also like to thank our students and participants from other IHMs and faculty members. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Akshita. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Sharath. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much once again for the uh, people over here or the students over here, faculty members, uh, for hearing me out and also for showing that patience. Uh, I hope you have something to take back home because that was, uh, you know, our initial discussion on what we want to do. Uh, and if there is anything, please feel to uh, you know reach me on any time. I would be more than happy to help you and. Mr. Sharad, if you can share share your email ID with them, like somebody was asking about your email ID also. Oh yes, what I'll do is I'll just mention this in my chat. I hope you got it. Sharat Nair eighteen at the rate gmail dot com. Yeah, yeah. So if there is anything, please feel to reach me, or you can connect me on Instagram, uh, or you can connect me in LinkedIn. I would like, I would love to see so many so uh, new connections flowing into me as well. All right, and if I could help you in any way, I would be more than happy to do so. And uh, all the best, and do not worry, everything is gonna be all right. Um, do not worry about the future of where to get place, what to do. Uh, eventually, you never know what you're gonna. develop or what you gonna you know 
innovate uh, do uh, bring an innovation onto the industry so find your ikigai and all the best to everyone thank you so much once again for the entire team on this thank you thank you thank you so much